คือกระทงที่ลอยไปในทะเลเนี่ยปรากฏสัตว์ทะเลไม่รู้ว่าคืออะไรกินเข้าไปโอ้ตายไงหลังเที่ยงคืนประชาชนรอยเสร็จเนี่ยซึ่งต้องจัดเก็บให้เสร็จภายในตีห้าถ้าไม่ได้นอนบางเส้นไม่มีไม่ได้มีการจัดเก็บทุกอย่างก็จะลงไปทะเล So do you think we should continue doing this festival? I think so yes but maybe in a different way Hello, you all, and welcome to Faces of Asia. I'm Tommy, and I bet last week you must have enjoyed the Loi Gratong Festival. But did you know what happened to those gratong that you released into the river? The Loi Gratong Festival in Thailand has such a rich history that dates back hundreds of years to the Zuko Thai period. Its purpose is to thank the river for providing us with drinkable water and to beg forgiveness from the water goddess for polluting the water source. Gratongs were originally made of banana leaves, flowers, and bamboo pins. Everything is decomposable naturally. However, as time went on, readily available materials such as foam, ribbons, and metal pins were incorporated into the float. ขยะพลาสติกมันไม่ย่อยสลายพอมันเป็นที่เล็กๆก็ตาเห็นแวบๆแวบก็นึกว่าอาหารก็กินเข้าไปพอกินเข้าไปก็ท้องอืดตายได้ This vendor claimed that he sold 400 pieces of gratons in a single day every year. Environmental-friendly gratons made of bread and banana products were available instead of ones made from styrofoam. But is there such thing as environmentally-friendly graton? We want this one, which is wood. Wood. Yes, sir. What do they call it? It's a wood. It's a wood. Yes, it's a wood. Because if it's a wood, it's a wood. 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 พวกขนมไทยอะครับอ๋อแต่นี้มันไม่ค่อยมันหาซื้อยากก็เลยต้องใช้ใช่ใช่ครับมันแข็งแรงมากกว่า BMA reported that approximately 640,000 gratons were released in Bangkok this year. This figure does not include the 76 other provinces in Thailand which have inadequate waste management systems. We can safely say Lord Gratong can be seen as a huge waste dump into the river and ocean. ต้องจัดเก็บให้เสร็จภายในตีห้าของคืนนี้เลยคืนวันที่27นี้แหละนะครับถ้าไม่ได้นอนบางเส้นไม่มีไม่ได้มีการจัดเก็บเพราะว่ามันมีจัดเก็บอยู่ที่กรุงเทพที่เดียวเป็นน้ำใสอื่นไม่ได้เก็บนะครับทุกอย่างก็จะลงไปทะเล BMA reported 96.74% of the tongs are made from natural and environmentally friendly materials, which is an increase from the previous year. While 3.26% were undegradable and a lower number from the previous year. Still, these are just statistics collected in Bangkok. แล้วก็ประกอบกับกระทงธรรมชาติก็จริงมีเข็มหมุดมีตะปูมันลอยลงทะเลไปก็ไปรวมรวมอยู่แถวแถวชายฝั่ง all of the gratons will be sorted following the festival day. Even some of the environmentally friendly gratons do have some metal pins in them. Officials have to extract them manually, as all gratons will not be able to change into fertilizers without this process. Hanawat recommended floating ecologically friendly gratons free of metal pins and non-biodegradable materials. He added that it always results in injuries to the officials. Don, ha, don, don, by jump, because the keep, the keep, the keep, the keep, the keep, the keep. พนักงานเก็บขยะเนี่ยต้องคอยดึงดึงได้ประมาณ10กิโลเฉพาะเขตเดียวนะได้ตะปู10กิโลเข็มหมุดรวมกันถือว่าเยอะนะครับถ้า50เขตคูณเข้าไปเนี่ย500โลกระทงที่จะเก็บได้ส่งเข้าโรงงานหมักบุ๋ยเลยนะครับปุ๋ยเนี่ยเราหน่วยงานกรทมก็สามารถมาขอไปบำรุงต้นไม้ไม้ประดับในเกาะกลางถนนหรืออะไรเงี้ยได้นะครับหรือว่าในสนสาระนี่ก็เอามาได้เลย so, how can we preserve the tradition while also being gentle to our nature? It has become an increasing trend to take part in the celebration virtually. Like this Thai German family that decided All to float right, back with tongues online. I think in a, that kind of festival, I think have long history um, and to the Thai culture. And I think it's something very important for the people. Like every day you're seeing how many people are you not know, turning up to, to celebrate the festival. Um, yeah, but... I think also uh, time changes. I mean, like maybe 20, 30, 40, maybe 100 years ago, we didn't thought about it, but 
But now uh, the topic of like, you know, um, uh, sustainability and, and, and the health of the, of the planet and especially the river, mm. I think is something very important. Mm -hmm. So do you think we should continue doing this festival? I think so, yes, but maybe in a different way. I support to have it like continue is for the next generation to see how the history of Thailand and how we grow up with. Can you sing like at home? Yeah, one hand. <laughs> <laughs> but she can, she can. She can, right? We are going to uh, cross the bridge to another side, which is Krung Thonburi side. And as you can see, there's a temple there and they celebrate the Laigatong festival as well. Uh, that is Wat Prayura Wong Sawad. As I have noticed, a lot of people, especially uh, the young adult or the teenagers, they avoid not to like Ratong. And I think there are some other way to enjoy this festival. And we'll show you. Bangkok City also encourages the change. This year, tourists can float gratons digitally at the actual canal. With the provided paper, participants in the Digital Loy Graton project on Kong Ong An Canal can doodle, color, write the names, make wishes, or write anything they want. That image then scanned and transformed into digital gratons display in the canal. This idea was initiated by Tom, a member of the Bangkok Creative Economy Committee. It was first displayed at Awakening Bangkok 2022 before Bangkok brought it back to the Loi Graton Festival this year. <laughs> So, is there any message you want to send to the, like, maybe the governor or the people who who taking care of, like, organizing this kind of event? How can it be improved in, in the next, next year, maybe? Just trying to raise more awareness regarding, like, like I said, those plastic ones that you can see. I know sometimes they put also so LED lights in it yeah. to make it, like, a little bit more shiny. Candles is okay. It's yeah. like you, it's not maybe shining as much as. But what matters the most, I think, is what you believe in it and what you expect when you release it. And yeah, just trying to be the more eco-friendly towards this. มันเป็นประเพณีที่ดีเนาะในการที่เราจะขอเข้ามาสิ่งที่เราจะทำกับพ่อแม่คงคาไปนะครับกระทงที่เราลอยลงไปเนี่ย <laughs> Loi Graton started with good intentions, but releasing million pieces of uncomposable material to the river doesn't seem like the proper way to ask for forgiveness. If you were the goddess of water, would you grant an apology? And this is Faces of Asia. Join us again next episode via the nation's social media. In this show, we immerse ourselves in culture, explore social issues from different perspectives, and hear some interesting people's stories. I'm Tammy Tamarin Somha. Until next time.